This Saints report is brought to you by Capital One Bank, proud partner of Cox Sports Television, and by Louisiana Cat, your statewide Caterpillar dealer. All right, our third installment of the Roman Report. It gets better and better every week, and a lot of hot topics in today's practice. First of all, the plane flying around the practice field with the banner Free Peyton. Your thoughts? I loved it. Uh, you know, I, I just know we got amazing fans, and we live in an amazing city. And uh, everybody wants to be a part of it and uh, have a little piece of fun. So it was good to actually go out there and have somebody uh, show some support from up high. I paid for that. I paid for that to come over at this time. That's me. I did that. You started tongue in cheek, but you looked at the fans and you said, uh, uh, that I was, was responsible me. for that? Yeah, I said I ordered the plane to come over, you know what I mean, give the fans something to cheer about. And, uh, yeah, it was me. I'll take all the credit. If nobody else does, it was me. I can confirm that then. Confirm it. Put it, in the, put it down. You go to the beginning of practice when you stretch. Mm -hmm. It seems like you keep everything loose. They almost wait for you like you have a, a comedy act and somebody has to intro you. You start doing your thing and everybody kind of loosens up. It's, uh, it's definitely become a uh, routine. Uh, I have a different handshake with every defensive back. I got my one little thing with Dan, our, our strength coach. Then I got something with Chase Daniels at the end. Then I got something with Lance Moore. Sometimes I give Drew a little something. And it's like, you know, if I'm not there, it's just very quiet, you know, very, you know, low, low intensity. And I just try and get the guys going, man, do my little part and I have fun with it. So I, if anybody knows me, they know I'm a loose guy. I like to have a good time no matter what I'm doing. So I'm always there, you know, just trying to turn it up a little bit. And speaking of that, you and Malcolm Jenkins, I know you're a Roll Tide guy, but apparently there was a Buckeye in the crowd today and you guys were giving him some love, right? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, you know, Malcolm taught me this, you know, me being a great, great friend of his. You know, I've learned, you know, the OH and then they do the IO. <laughs> So I was just giving it to him. I was like, you know, Malcolm, hey, look, it's an OH guy. So he did it, and then the guy responded, I.O. So, you know, Malcolm is no, he's not too prideful to say roll tide. So as long as we're both on the same thing, we're, we're good. You clear that up, but this is on tape now. Can I send this to Tuscaloosa? Send it. You know what I mean? But they understand that. You know, Ohio State's a good program. We're definitely better, so it doesn't matter. You know, it's always good to try and pick, pick the other ones up. You know, it's okay. As long as they don't above you. You know, as long as they're below you, you can always try and help pull people up. I got you. Finally, uh, we talked about this. We love the shirt, yes. and I know Joe Vitt loves the shirt, but tell the audience, we may have a shirt on the horizon for the yeah, Roman we, Report. We got a little something coming for the Roman Report. Hey, we're going to keep it on the hush. It'll be here in another week. Okay. Don't worry about it. So hopefully by next weekend, we'll have it on. A little Roman Report shirt. We're good to go. That's what you call a tease in this business. Third Roman Report, very solid. Uh, you're hot. I'll let you get in there. Thanks a lot. Thanks, man. Time to go shower. Holla at y'all. Roll Tide. All right, I'm Mike Neighbors with your CST Saints Training Camp Report.